All right, what I've been doing is uh, <laughs> cleaning up. So here's my hand. Here's the pile of stuff that came out of this car. So what I'm doing is um, swapping wheels, trying to figure out what's going to fit. That's one of the big negatives with this particular car is the fact that these tires and wheels are relatively small. So this is where you might come across an issue. You got a 12 millimeter hex, but you only have a 56 or a 55, I think it's a 56, a 56 uh, millimeter tall, focus on the right thing here. You have a 56 millimeter tall tire by 22, 22 width. So I've got, uh, I do have a plethora of different uh, style tires and rims. I was even checking out stuff like this for maybe like uh, drifting. I'm not a drifter, but these, these things I'm slick. These are obviously way too big, <laughs> but these are meant to. Um, yeah, that's one of the things that you're going to come across is when you want to try to do something, you may have to modify, you may have to modify the body in order to fit things. So that is one possible negative because you're also not really able to adjust the, uh, body mounts. So the body mounts kind of restrict you a little bit. It's almost like you'd have to redesign a different shock tower or something. Maybe get that body up. Maybe get that body up just a little bit higher. But like I said, I'm just testing things out. I've been online searching for stuff. Comments are probably going to roll in that question uh, what the deal is with tires and wheels. So, But you can see that basically some of these style tires that I or wheels that I have the actual rim is bigger, or actually not bigger, but the actual rim is just, <laughs> it is bigger. It's bigger than the other rim. So that's a potential issue. There's the pile of stuff. That's literally how deep it is. So that thing, that thing is a trash collector. So that is something that you're probably going to have to figure out is what you want to do about tires and wheels for this thing. Some people actually did like the uh, coffee montage that I did. It was kind of funny, man. Because, uh, believe it or not, what that really does is it, it sharpens or fine tunes me trying to just create content. We did uh, change something on this truck, actually changed two things on this truck. One you might be able to see just sitting here. The other one you probably really can't see. The one that you can't see is very minor. The one that you possibly can see is kind of a little bit difficult. And I did go into that. I also did try a plethora of different style remotes. This is Dumbo remote. I was having high hopes for that. Tried this remote, tried this remote. This basically would have been the same thing. Just has a uh, speed selector switch right here or a dial to more fine tune the speed selection. You can see I've you can see I've got a plethora of tires and wheels here trying to figure stuff out. And you can also see these are the factory stalkers. As of right now, the RC car does not have its factory stalkers on it anymore. What do you do with the radio? The one thing that I thought was kind of comical, right? The one thing that I thought was comical was the fact what do you see right there? So this remote right here, which I almost guarantee is the same exact remote. It's a wholesome remote. <laughs> That's bad, dude. So look at it. This is the remote that came with the MJX. It has no tag on it or branding, but uh, you literally are actually seeing double. So the Hosim or Hosim <laughs> uses the same damn remote that the MJX uses. That right there kind of does tell you, Gotta remember to take the remote. You know what I should do? I should put a battery in this. Actually, is there? Oh, there's a battery in it. I'm gonna take the Hosom remote out and I'm gonna use the Hosom remote on this car. Watch it bind. I bet it will. I haven't tried this yet, but let's see if it binds. 
See, it's still waiting for the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and reach my fingers under here. So ready? Here we go. Is it gonna bind? Where's the, where's the switch? The switch is right there. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> so the dang hosim. Ah, I just think it's funny. I can't do it, guy. I can't do it. Not that I dislike Hosum because I, I don't, because they honestly do have some RCs that are good, but it makes you realize, makes you realize that in reality, all of these cars, all of these cars from China are from the same exact damn place. It's just sometimes they choose to cheap out a little bit more and not put their own branding on the remote. Same damn thing though. So this could end in disaster, but I'm thinking it won't. I know the car is gonna go faster. Question is, how much faster is the car gonna go now? So go ahead and put the regular branded remote on. It's on 100%. Hit the truck on. And we're bound. So I will have to do some steering calibration kind of stuff, because I did mess with a couple of things that hopefully make this RC you can see it's kind of hooking to the right, so I do have to adjust the trim. Look at that. Pretty straight. I adjusted the, uh, and the other thing that's kind of cool about this, one-handed operation kind of deal. These tires might blow off of this uh, RC truck. We'll see. I got the 3S pack that they provided me with. I kept on saying that wrong. These are not gonna be the best tires. So you can see I got the GPS unit strapped in the back like I, whoa. I got the GPS unit strapped in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole screen record thing here. Screen record, skip countdown, GNS. See, we got the Sky RC thing going on here. Oh, we got the mailman coming. Going? Thank you, sir. No problem. Have a good one. You too. All right, we'll just stuff that in there for now. All right, so anyway, we got 14% battery on the GPS. That's not very good, but the car is ready to go. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got uh, zero satellites. So that just means that the car needs to travel. But you can see the gyro kind of doing its thing. It's a little scared. So let's see, 12%. Man, it's our. Oh. <laughs> All right, still no satellites, what the heck? Why is it rubbing now? It wasn't rubbing the whole time. Oh, Jesus. All right, this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to glue these tires. The tire already ripped off the rim. All right, well, that was a stinking fail. That means I'm gonna have to glue these dang things. I was thinking I could get away with not gluing, but it's definitely telling me, guy, that ain't the case. It's just that one wheel though. And it might've been because of the turn. So let's see uh, what happens now. Six satellites. Ah, oh, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Tires are just literally just ripping right off the rims. <laughs> All right, forget it. I gotta go glue up these stinking tires. Well, apparently this thing is a little bit quicker than I was anticipating, or should I say a little bit more torquier than I was anticipating. I honestly thought that maybe these tires would stay on, but <laughs> they said, nope, that ain't gonna happen, guy. Tried a whole bunch of different ones too. Not easy, but I did find something that would fit, provided uh, that I paid attention and maybe glued them in. And that was obviously something that I didn't do. So, but this is the um, this is the wheel and tire package that I'm going with for this uh, truck now. Uh, hopefully, I can figure out where I got these from. I got these a long time ago 
I don't, I, I'm pretty sure these are Amazon specials. So I will, um, I'll look in my cart and find this spoke pattern and I'll provide a link so that uh, if this is what you want to go with after seeing this video, uh, at least you've got another tire and wheel configuration option. The important thing about this was uh, wheel backspacing and believe it or not, the actual width of the tire. I had found a bunch of tires that I've got that I thought would work and the offset or the backspacing of the um, hub surface to the uh, rim, so the backspace or offset was not correct where this offset is correct. These are also directional. I mean, not really, but they are. Directional patterns, so you just wanna make sure that when you do this, that you have your tires set up so that all four tread patterns face like arrows facing forward, so. But you can see right there. All these tires are the same. These ones look, these two look a little bit different, but that's because these ones for a time were stretched. Yeah, I was going camber stretch craziness. Glue these on. I used the uh, Bob Smith Industries glue here. I didn't notice that my cap was broken, so that's probably why the glue is always. And I didn't realize the cap was broken. That kind of stinks. So I wonder if that means that this is not going to come out. Yep. The top is sealed. And I got this little poker device here. Let's see if I can... There we go. Nothing but the best. I'm gonna do a ring around, but I think I wanna open this up first. Put the tire to the inside like this. Now I can get a bead that goes all along the rim. See, do it like that. And I'll put a bead along the actual rim surface. Hopefully it's gonna work out like I'm thinking. Jeez, it's almost seeming like it's not gonna. Dang, this tip is so mangled. I'm gonna try and just dive it in, see what happens. And hope gravity is doing its thing and it's not. Let's probably do one side. Let it cure up and then do the other. Maybe that's the better way. Such small tires here. kind of cure up so I kind of should have known that, that wasn't gonna work tires are now glued I definitely did not wait the uh, 24 hours I am more like waited two to four minutes <laughs> that's what it is right two to four minutes all right 100% sky RC GPS is already on turn the truck on so I will just have to trim it up a little bit I adjusted the toe, gave it more of a straight line toe, not completely straight, but we'll see. So I'm going to make a couple of um, test hits. It is nice that this controller is small like that. That's not something that people are bringing out. I mean, you know, driving one handed isn't really a thing, but it is. Brown truck. All right, so we should have some data here, but that thing is dropping off fast. 
so the gyro causes the wheels to turn in reverse it might be a benefit for something so we're gonna go ahead and hit track start we'll see what this thing can get for a max speed oh it's doing a wicked wigwag that's no good Might have to turn that gyro down, but I will say, it is definitely going smoother. Whoa, let's get the wicked wigwax. <laughs> look at it, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I think I gotta turn the gyro down a little bit. Let's see what we got just for a preliminary uh, couple of hits. So stop, read. So preliminary hits were already at 42 miles an hour, which was really not even a roll on full trigger. It does look like the tires are so far holding on, but that gyro is absolutely out of control. So um, the only thing that I can think of is now that I'm more of a straight line steering, less drag, that i don't know like there's maybe just more to for the gyro to adjust for so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that turn it down all the way and then i'm going to put it up to 25 percent which is basically going to be like a quarter so we'll try that and we'll see if that what that does still seems ultra sensitive crank it all the way up all right that's all the way up that's on nothing I'm gonna go with like uh looks like it's like an eighth maybe like 10 or 20 percent so you can see I also did a modification to the front there with uh, little body washes to the front that's something that you're probably gonna want to do some body washes I did notice that uh, the body was starting to kind of pull through or punch through so and those accidents definitely didn't help full trigger whoa full trigger oh whoa that took all of like 10 minutes to put those body pins in all right so 42 miles an hour alert batteries before continuing four percent nah no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give it a shot. Ah, oh, it won't let me, you son of a gun, man. Oh, dude, nothing but now it's on 10%. Is it enough? Start. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> dude, everything is against me right now. So now I gotta charge the stinking battery on the GPS. Oh. Well, that's all right. Off. Okay. Out of here. All right, let's uh, check this out. <laughs> What's in the box? All right, let's try this again. Man, can't seem to like, can't seem to get this straight, but it's straight now. Straight, not meaning um, driving straight. Like, can't seem to get my act straight yet. So here's the car. Uh, I think we're all set. Flip it on. Screen record's going. Uh, GPS is on. Just not reading anything yet. Probably take a little bit. 100%. All right, just throw this in my pocket for now. Still doing the wigwag. I'm gonna go easy with these tires. Now the tires are at least glued. Glued to the rims. Oh, we got some water here? Uh oh, oh. <laughs> Neighbors got some irrigation going, ah crap. All right. So we still have no satellites. 
It's kind of weird. Why are there still no satellites? Uh, zero satellites. What's up? Why are there zero satellites? I'm just gonna pop the uh, rear body pins off for a second. It says zero. Bluetooth is connected, obviously. It's literally got, it has not trapped satellites yet. That's a first. So, it usually does not take this long to trap satellites. Well, what's going on? Well, I'll just drive it around and make sure it's driving straight, which it is. Oh, I hit that water. Oh, 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 the thing almost seems like it's gonna flip over. Holy crap, dude. Like seriously, I ain't kidding. Gyro is definitely way better now. It's not doing as much of the wigwag. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. So stop. Uh, let's actually no. <laughs> there ain't nothing. Read. There's nothing to read because there was no nothing. 42 was the last trap speed, and that was just kind of, uh, kind of a joke. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Line this thing up. There's no changing of gears. The only thing that I have changed is to a slightly more fitting, better fitting uh, tire and wheel combination. And uh, the fact that I made the uh, toe slightly, slightly straighter. Like, I mean, it was like jacked that way and now it's kind of like that. So, all right, here we go. Whoa. Oh crap. <laughs> Signal loss. Ah <laughs> oh, man. I think it went like under the... I don't even know where it is. I think it went under the bushes over there. Oh my god, I don't even know where it is. See, that's the other thing too. The thing is so small. <laughs> where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh crap, I think I just blew a tire. Ah oh, no. That didn't sound good. Ah oh, dude, I think I just blew out a tire. I hope not. Ah, I look alright. Ton of junk in there though. I should do the speed run over here. Oh, <laughs> crap. Whoops. Okay, it's way too much water over here. So it has the right kind of drag brake. What I mean by that is when you double tap, yeah, watch. I don't know if I can show you this. Uh oh. Oh no. Why do we have zero throttle? Because it's IP nothing, nothing, nothing. Did I short out the ESC by getting it wet? Ah. Uh, I have steering. 
I have no throttle. Damn it. Well, let's see what happened. Thinking this thing might not be uh, IP anything. Crap. So we got a blinking light. Why is that? Definitely this stuff is not water or anything. So something must have got wet. Okay. It's good. It's back again. Dude, I must have blown a tire. That thing's acting like it's blown. See what I'm saying? That thing's coming undone, man. Don't worry about it, guy. It's just water in the tires. All right, well, I guess these tires aren't good for uh, speed running. <laughs> Crap, I'm going to have to get foams for this thing, man. It's just a little case of IP nothing. Don't drive this thing in the water. I think that is something that kind of just told me right there. Do not drive it in water or suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences of having a burned out truck. Yeah, we're going to stay out of the water. So I am going to run it down again. This time I will have the remote up high. I want to check the speed though. Have a feeling these tires are no go. So stop. Read. 40. All right. So we got 43 at a max before, but that was also with the other battery pack. So let's. Ah, oh, my washes. Washes are for the thing there. Oh no. Seriously. I don't think this thing liked getting wet. Ah, oh, that's no good, man. Ah, uh, don't get it wet. ESC is fine. Those are fine. Sky RC got wet. That's fine. I'm going to uh, let it drive around right now. Oh, it's top on. Ah, I got to stay out of the water. This might be a no. Well, I'm going to run it without its body right now just because it's already here. All right, hear nothing, see nothing. Gyro is amazing. Oh, I can't stay out of the water. Because it's IP nothing. nothing, nothing. Damn it. It is a screamer, man. Made it. <laughs> See? Gotta have that encapsulator on there. So it seems like it's alright. I don't think this is anything IP nothing. So, 
stop, read, 42. So we are running the um, original battery pack that came with this thing right now. I have a suspicion that uh, these tires just ain't gonna hold up to any kind of real speed, so. That's a bummer, man. I was really, I was really hoping, man, I really was. So, what I need to do, I'll be back. This is wasting your time. So technically these tires would kind of be okay um, as a replacement tire, but definitely just not for speed. Uh, the, the tires are literally coming apart, so that just ain't gonna work, man. All right, lined up. Here we go. It's max speed. Let's go right for that water again. See the brake? That's the right kind of drag brake, dude. Wow, this thing is, I'm, I really am liking this thing. Stop, read, 40 miles an hour. All right, I'm gonna swip, swip. What the hell is that? I am gonna switch to the other battery pack. So uh, the other pattern, this battery pack right now is kind of worn out. I'm sure we're not talking full strength here. Go ahead and disconnect that. So I have that 120 C pack. So far, 43 miles an hour has been top speed. We got to 42, I think, with that pack. But I've got these packs right here, which this should be. If this thing ain't 100, well, it should be like 98%, I believe. 98%. So this is basically a 100% pack right here. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. Uh, do not run this thing in water. That's an absolute do not. This is not a water fording uh, vehicle, obviously. Why is getting eaten by the... <laughs> can hear it. The fan. Let's see if I can... I just plug it in. Let's go ahead and plug this baby back in. Have some lights. Here we go. We got some lights. So doing that at least, what it will do is make it so that um, so the wire is not going to get chewed up by the fan because the the literally the wire was going to get chewed up by the fan. And did I lo literally lose a body clip? It's on the ground. I do have to say the cop lights, man, it is pretty slick. I do like it. All right, so now we're on 120 C pack, fully charged, basically 98%. That's fully charged for this pack. 120 C, 1300 milliamp, 43 miles an hour was uh, 44 miles an hour is the max speed that we got with that. So back out, go ahead and hit start. Go ahead and hit start. <sighs> what the heck? Guy, guy, guy. Nothing's working for you today, huh? What is going on here? Cancel. Drag, start. Why isn't this working? Close all. GNS. Try this again. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see if the encapsulator has even got juice. Sky RC GPS the unit is off. That ain't cool. Did it get wet? Uh oh. Man, it doesn't look like any water really got. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, because it doesn't look like any water got into it. The way the straps go, the straps kind of cover the hole. So, it looks like it's connected now. 
giving me a hard time here. There we go. All right. So Reed, 40 miles an hour so far with that battery pack. Every once in a while, you'll have an issue with the uh, GPS unit. Still accurate, but you will have every once in a while. It's a piece of tech. It needs to be rebooted. You know, shut it down. Let it think about its actions of the day. And then turn it back on and usually it sets itself straight. So like I said, we're a 1300 milliamp, 120 C pack. 44 miles an hour is the fastest that we got with that. I don't think we're gonna get any more than that. Go ahead and hit start. Signal is, oh, because it hasn't gotten any GPS units yet. pretty quick I don't want to kill the battery see the brake this is the drag brake that you need man it's like a castle system here all right looks like we got zero satellites <laughs> looks like we had four read 40 back start Okay, so we do have satellites now. We got five. It'll probably trap more as we go, but that's enough. All right, so here we go. Max speed test with the um, MJX Hyper four wheel drive all road. Okay, let's line it up. Dude, look at how bright those lights are. Look at that. Dude, can you see the directionals? Look at blinking, blinking. I can switch it. Look at that. Dude, this thing is insane. I think I'm gonna keep it on the, yeah, I'll keep it on the flashing one. How about that? All right, here we go. Max speed, Joe Bird. That was pretty fast. That was probably like that 42, 43. Stop, read, 43. Okay, so it looks like because these tires are kind of not doing what I was hoping, that might be the max speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go for another max speed rip. Here we go. Lined up. You can see it. All right. Hear nothing, see nothing. Full trigger. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this thing is slick. The only thing is the remote though. Horrible signal strength. Oh! And it's not on its lid, it's on its wheels. Dang, this thing is doing good. All the body pins in there. Stop. Read. 43. So we still got 43 miles an hour. What's crazy is that the other tires 
net at a better speed, I think, because these ones, there's too much vibration. Look at those lights all the way down there, man. Full trigger. I love the drag brake thing. Full trigger. Whoa. <laughs> Is really grip. Oh. It tips out. <laughs> Stop. Read. Yeah, oh, 43. We literally stuck it stinking 43 miles an hour. Dude. Alright. This is when we're gonna get something a little bit better. Right here. I'm gonna get 44 right here. All right. Three, two, one. Sounds like the battery's getting tired. Full trigger. The brake is incredible. Ah, I want to blow a tire. So I think if the diffs were uh, a little locked up, it might help it a little bit. These tires are grippers. Oh. This is still a fun truck, man. Even though I'm not like getting to that 45, I was open. Full trigger. Oh crap, and it's on its lid. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It's holding up pretty good, though. Jeez. Oh! That's definitely in a jump. Put the GoPro on this car. All right, stop, read. <laughs> We're going slower. All right, you can hear the vibration. So what the vibration is doing is, is the vibration is actually slowing the RC down. So these particular tires and wheels would probably be okay for skate park type stuff because on the pavement, I think it's getting too much bite on a side grip. 
on uh, on concrete, which was what you're going to find in a skate park, there's going to be more slip. And when there's more slip, there's less grip. So drifting probably with these particular tires and wheels will probably be good. Amazingly, this thing has taken an absolute stinking beating. I really do actually like this truck, man. This thing is wicked slick. Look at that. Looks like we got a blowout here. So I'm gonna have to take the garbage out of there and re-glue that. Look at that. Let go. So, but these are the tires that I put on there. They're like a directional. Uh, they fit really good. Uh, oh, oh. We're getting some we're getting some wheel well clearance here. Holy crap, dude. The tires I think are clearancing the body. Dude, I think they are. I think the tires are clearancing the body. <laughs> I don't remember it being like that. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. So it looks like the tires are providing ad additional clearance. Holy crap. Anyways, this is Rusty Guy Garage. I'm out here ripping it up. I'm out here ripping it up with this thing. We'll go ahead and put the cop lights on. I'm ripping it up with this bad Larry. Bad Larry, man. I'm ripping it up with this bad Larry. Having a blast with it. I'm gonna kind of calm down on the beat downs on it. So the next time you see this thing, it's gonna be over at the skate park. I'm out ripping it up. What are you doing today?